What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream from the Scale It Learning channel. And we are continuing today with our Khan Academy SAT math for the digital SAT walkthroughs. We're going through all of the categories, all 37 of these SAT math categories. And today, or on this video, we're on to evaluating statistical claims in the foundations level. Again, there's foundations, then medium, then advanced. So we're going to get through everything eventually, but here we go. We're going to knock out four questions for the first time in real time. Uh-oh. Sorry. And that is how you're going to learn all the fundamental math that you need to succeed on this test. So without further ado, let's do it. All right. Kwame surveyed a large random sample of Chicago, Illinois households to learn the number of cars they have. The results of the survey are most representative of which of the following populations. So where you're getting your, your sample from, that's who it applies to. So for example, if you're doing a random sample of Chicago, Illinois households, okay, this would apply to, so that's where you're pulling your large random sample from. The, these results would be representative of Chicago, Illinois households. That's it. That's all you got to say. So like if I did a survey of, if I took a random survey of high school students from every high school in Los Angeles, but it's only like 10 students, that the results of that survey would apply to all high school students in Los Angeles, but not beyond that. Okay, so that, that's kind of the idea. Chicago, Illinois, boom, done. All right, next. A school district wants to conduct a sample survey to determine the average number of sports they played by high school seniors in the district. High school? Which is most likely to produce valid results? Oh, sample survey to conduct the average number of sports played by high school seniors in the district. Okay. The district survey is 500 randomly selected high school seniors in the district. Does it say seniors? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, this might be okay. Wait, was it baseball? Number of sports. No, baseball, What? that doesn't make sense. We need to know the number of sports from this, vi from this uh, sample. The survey conducts... Every 10th student to enter the... No, but that's football. No, that makes no sense. Again, we need this to apply to high school seniors in the district. So we need to take a random sample of high school seniors in the district. Randomly selected high school seniors in the district. Yeah, this is perfect. Just a Because conduct a sample, the average number of sports played by high school seniors in the district. So we just need a random sample of high school seniors in the district. No, it's C. Boop. There we go. Boom. Hope that made sense. Question number three. Jamal surveyed a random sample of college students in Texas about whether they own a desktop. Random sample of college students. So this is going to apply to college students in Texas. The results of the survey are most representative of which of the following populations. College students in Texas. Because a random sample of those people, so it applies to those people. Okay, last but not least. Naisha runs a makerspace. Uh, oh, wait. Hey, man, great reviews. Do you plan on doing any reviews on geometry? I took it during my virtual year of high school. Yeah. So I'm going to do a... Actually, that's a great idea. But I'm getting... Once I get to the geometry and trigonometry section of Khan Academy, which will probably happen in a week, maybe less, uh, we're going to focus in on those. Uh, but I'll also make some additional videos on geometry and trigonometry concepts as well. So thanks, Zezzy. Appreciate it. And thank you guys for joining, who are joining live. I know most people are watching these in the replays, but... Appreciate you guys. Thank you. And if you could give this video a like, would be much appreciated. All right, Naisha runs a makerspace. She recently received a suggestion to let members of have 24-hour access to the space. Which of the following sampling methods is most appropriate to estimate the proportion of members who are in favor of the 20? Okay. Received a suggestion to let members have 24-hour access. Which of the following proportion of members? So she needs to... So first of all, she should only survey members, Okay. Um, not people beyond that, because that's what she cares about. It's to, to most appropriate to estimate the proportion of members. Okay. Surveying the first 25 members. So we're going to talk about why this, this might sound okay, but this is problematic. Um, surveying 25 members. This is going to be the best. And I love that word random. So it's probably going to be B surveying 25 members of a different makerspace that is 24 hour access. So again, this would apply to the different makerspace members, right? So this is not, so C does not make sense or it doesn't, you know, look, if it's all you have, it could give you a decent gauge, but it's not the right sample. Creating a poll on social media and using the first 25 responses. So this is going to be, here, let me just scroll down, make sure I don't miss anything. But yeah, oh, that's the whole question. So this is going to be sort of problematic like A, and I'm going to tell you why, even though it might make sense. If you're, 
doing a poll on social media and using the first 25 responses, there's a bias there because you're now getting information from the first 25 people that responded. Maybe those are the most eager, but they're not the most representative of the entire sample. So you want a random sample of the members. Same with this. The first 25 members that are makerspace on a particular weekday, now that's an unfair bias, right? It's not a random, bottom line is, it's not a random sampling. You want a random sample. So A is out as well. So we're going to go with B for the win. Done. All right. That's all we got. That's it for this topic. Again, thank you for joining. Thank you, uh, Zezzy, if I'm pronouncing that right. Appreciate you. And if you do like this video, make sure to click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. That's all we got. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.